We are going to move into learning goal 7.5, and um, you will notice that this looks a little bit different than normal. Um, right now, we actually made a copy of your old practice book page for you to write on because of the grid. It makes it really, really hard to do without actually having yeah. one to write on. So for this one, you actually have a paper that looks like this, only it's not colored. Um, and right at the top, I put our learning goal because it is important that you make sure you remember those. So I can locate and plot points in the first quadrant of a coordinate plane. So we are going to talk what that means. Uh, talk about what that means. So a coordinate plane is formed by the intersection of horizontal line called the x-axis. So horizontal line and the vertical line called the y-axis. So that is a coordinate plane right here. This part right here is the first quadrant where it said quadrant one. This is what we're going to be focusing on. So over here, if you see, it's got the the x and the y. It's like we took this part and made it really big. So mm -hmm. that's what we're talking about when we're talking about the coordinates. So here we are going to now move into some more vocab on ordered pairs. And it's going to be a really important word for you to understand. Um, it's used to describe the location of any point in the coordinate plane. Okay, For example, the ordered pair 9, 5 describes the location of point A. So if I find point A here... 9, 5. If you notice, the first coordinate here refers to where it's at on the x-axis. So you go across, then you go up. So across 9, and then 5 is up. So up 5. And that's where your point is. So it consists of these two coordinates, 9 and 5. That's a coordinate pair. That's pair 2. Mm -hmm. So the first coordinate represents a distance along which, ax which axis... So hopefully you saw going across, it is actually the x-axis. And then the second coordinate represents the distance along which axis, and that time it is the y-axis. So x across, y up. The origin of the coordinate plane is the point zero, 0, so this point right here. So the question here is why is it important to know that? And really it's important to know that because it gives us our starting point. Um, this tells us where the very beginning one is. If you had it, if it said to um, put a point on zero zero, this is where it would be. It's talking about the origin. So why is it important? It gives us a place to start or a starting point. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I'm going to on your page. You will see there's a whole bunch of questions down here. I'm going to do two together. Um, I'm going to show you how to do two, then we'll do a pause and try to, and then you'll do the rest on your own. So the directions say to write an ordered pair to represent the location of each point. So point B. So first I have to find B. So B up here. Now I need to write the ordered pair. So again, I do the x-axis first. So three across, then how far up is it? It's three up. So my y-axis was three. So in this case, my ordered pair is actually three, three. So it didn't hard to mess that matter. one up. Yeah, hard to mess that one up. <laughs> point C is a little more difficult. Point C I have to find is here. So again, I start with my x-axis across, and it's 9 across. So 9 is my first number in my ordered pair, my first coordinate. And then how far up did I go on my y-axis? And again, I'm drawing it over, is a 10. And you know what? Sometimes it's hard to make sure that you're like going straight across. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll either take a ruler or a little piece of paper and I'll actually use that to help make sure that I go straight across if that helps. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you need to try and do numbers 5 and 6 on your own and then I will come back and show you what to do. So pause and try it, please. Okay, so point D. Again, i got to start by finding it. So point D is right here. My first coordinate is my x-axis, which is 8. And then my y-axis is 1. So my coordinates are 8, 1. And then point L. Where are you? Ah, <laughs> it's on the y-axis. Okay, so look at this one. This one's a little trickier. Does it actually go anywhere on the mm -hmm. x-axis? It doesn't. So my x is 0. I didn't go anywhere. So my y is L. Or is L. <laughs> is 7. So 0, 7. So now you need to go through and do 7, 8, 9, and 10 on your own. And we will check those tomorrow. And then there's one more little page. So go ahead and flip your paper over once you're done with those. And Mrs. Dan Dan will go over the next part. 
All right, now this is sort of my favorite part because what we get to do is actually plot the point. You are going to um, also have this sheet of paper too to help you do that. You don't have to recreate your own. And now what we just have to do here is sort of the opposite of what you were doing before. Plot and label a point at each location. And we will do a couple together and then you'll be able to try a few on your own too. So looking here, we're going to find point J at 5 and 4. And I remember that 5, the first coordinate is the x-axis, so I'm going to go across 5 here and then go up 4. So making sure I follow that line. And here is my point for J. Now, you know, Mrs. Van Dam actually put a J right next to the point. If you just put a point there and don't label Ooh, it, we're not going to be able to tell. Yeah, what it is. and that can get really confusing, especially mm -hmm. if you're doing quite a few. Yep. Um, also, if I look here for point Q at one and nine, I'm going to go across one. Now I have to go way up to nine here, and that is going to be my point Q. Pause and try a couple. And so why don't you try 13 and 14. Um, so take a moment to do those and come back. So looking here at point Y, we are going to go across starting here at 2. And this one is another interesting one because we don't go up. It just stays at 0. So our point Y should actually be right here. Then... If you look here for W, it's sort of the opposite. Just like before when we did the sample on the page before, we don't go anywhere for zero. So this is our zero mark, and now we're just going to go up for Y, up to four. So your point W should have ended up right there. So it's sort of nice to make sure you're doing the zeros. Sometimes that can be confusing. What we would like you to do next then is just practice plotting these points some more. You are going to do the next um, 15 through 22. You're going to do all these plotting your points. And then um, when we get into groups, we'll be able to compare and make sure that those points are in the right spot. And you do not need to do these ones. Yep. You get to skip them those, off. but instead you get to do your guiding questions. So make sure that and it'll be right here in mm. words. Explain how you would plot the ordered pair two five on the coordinate plane. So you're solving this one in words. So good luck and we will go over those tomorrow.